Hey everyone, this is Tom. Welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a long break since my last video post. And so in this video, I'm going to basically give you a more of a personal update on what I've been going through, why I took this break, some of the lessons I've learned, and how this relates to you and hopefully how you can use this to better your life, some of the insights I've discovered. And then a bit of an idea about where my channel's headed in the future and the kinds of content you can expect to see. Now, before we get into this video, I want to just let you know that there is road work going on. Of all the days I picked to film this, it happened to be one where they started doing road work right outside my apartment. <laughs> so then you might hear beeping and machines and all this kind of stuff, so I apologize in advance. I also think I owe everyone an apology for the unexpected hiatus I took from posting videos. It, truth be told, I didn't plan to take a big extended break from regular content. I sort of planned to take a couple of weeks off. Uh, it was as coronavirus was kind of really spreading at a global scale in terms of the news of the virus and countries were sort of locking down one by one. and. Around about that time, Australia got locked down and we all went into uh, social isolation and quarantine and everything like that. And it was around that time I was actually moving into a new apartment, which I'm in right now, that I decided that I needed to take a couple of weeks off. And then it sort of just kept going on and on through this time, and you'll see why in a second. So I really apologize if I left any of you feeling disappointed, left you hanging, was a bit cryptic. Uh, I understand if that was frustrating or perceived as rude because you know part of that is a true perception of my behavior so in my heart though it was never my intention to cause that it was more of a personal choice for my own healing for my own benefit to ultimately be of greater service to be in greater alignment to produce the most amazing content i can offer for you in the long term that was always the purpose of it anyway so where have I been and what's been happening? Well, I always find it really valuable to hear a little bit about the person speaking behind the camera. This is my relationship with other YouTubers or other teachers or any figure really to, to get a hint of more of the authentic journey that that person goes on and that soul experiences as it evolves. And so for me, one of the things that I've mentioned in other videos is that from about October 2018, to about January 2020, so about 13 months, 13, 14 months, just over a year, I experienced a drastic number of shifts. So I went from working in a bottle shop in this kind of really toxic work environment, very quite negative, just a casual job, we're stacking uh, wine bottles on shelves and things like that, serving customers. I went from that shifting careers into IT, shifting out of a full-time IT job into a personal development company where I worked for a, a, for a lady who's sort of an entrepreneur. Out of that, into starting up my own business and expanding my channel, coaching clients and teaching about law of attraction and spirituality, etc. So I grew that channel up within that time. So that was a four big shifts through different areas, different kind of uh, workforce relationships and then becoming a entrepreneur as well in a sense so that was a big shift uh, those those work shifts um, so that took a lot out of me and then I moved house I moved house I used to be living with my girlfriend at the time and then I moved out into another house and then I've since moved into a new apartment so there were three house changes and then in about early 2018 I went through a drastic spiritual awakening and that sort of turned my world upside down in so many ways and produced such a fluctuation of emotional experiences, some of the greatest highs and some of the lowest lows. As we talk about things like the dark night of the soul. I was going through it all, always trying to find that alignment. And the spiritual awakening was one of the hardest points of that. And then, of course, there's just the general challenges of stepping out of your comfort zone, which I felt like I was constantly doing again and again, day after day, into new territory, drastically stretching myself to kind of align and put myself out there and align with my passion, my purpose, etc. That just stretched me and tied me out kind of at a core level throughout this whole period. 
Then there was family drama and there was all kinds of other drama. And what culminated in this feeling of being burnt out throughout all these changes, especially the spiritual awakening, I can't emphasize how much of a drastic change that was, and how that even required me to go solo traveling to India uh, to do a yoga and meditation retreat, which I also did during that period. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. <laughs> all this stuff was going on, but it culminated in uh, one of the uh, the most difficult periods of my life, which was the end of my five and a half year relationship. So a breakup. And that happened late last year in December 2019 to early January 2020, the very beginning of this year to late last year. And although I feel very healed from it, that event was uh, very, very challenging to me because I deeply loved that person and still do and it was a very amicable quite a mature kind of uh, conscious uncoupling if you put it that way although I did kind of initiate it forward and it was the kind of situation where we'd been best friends for so many years we lived together for two years uh, we had so much of our lives wrapped up in the connection we shared from being teenagers up until the, our mid-20s and for that to end, it was a, a complete shattering of my identity, the, the Tom, the, the avatar Tom's identity and uh, its attachments to what that relationship was giving him. So what I mean by that is when I started this relationship, I was still a teenager. I still had lots of unresolved traumas and inner child wounds that this relationship was kind of masking and it was kind of giving me this surface level nourishment that was making me feel, oh, I'm pretty healed, I'm quite spiritually advanced, I'm doing really well, like things don't bother me, things like uh, feeling betrayed or feeling deep grief and deep loss, I feel somehow I've got a handle on that, I've got a deeper insight behind these things. I've also been through other traumas in my life before this and I'm really expanding through it, especially after going through a spiritual awakening. And so, this breakup, when it happened, it was more for my future self. It was a sense of she was going this way and I was going this way. It's not that there was anything wrong with that person. It was just simply life was calling us in a different direction. And had we stayed together long term, eventually that would have shone through. But perhaps it would have come a lot later with a lot more responsibility in place, a lot uh, of a deeper in attachment and entrenchment of that connection that would have been even more difficult and the ramifications of that breakup then would have been even more powerful and perhaps extremely traumatic. So it was kind of a decision that I was making for my highest evolution and my future self, so to speak. that I knew that one day I would look back and be so proud of myself for listening to my heart and making the very difficult decision to end that relationship. And so when it ended, it was okay at the start and then I went through grief and then things happened as my ex-girlfriend started to move on and date other people that it just took me into a a dimension of of pain that I didn't know was possible. Now I'm quite a sensitive soul. Uh, I feel very deeply. My emotional depth is is very rich, and I don't don't often share with that with people. And I know lots of people are like that, but I feel very deeply. I'm an empathetic person. I'm an empath. I've since discovered, <laughs> and uh, that. Uh, end of the relationship was the deepest severing I ever have experienced in my life. And what it was, was this wounded inner child, this young Tom that had uh, issues from childhood that I thought I'd healed already, but they were just so, so deeply buried within me that when that breakup happened, it, it almost triggered the core of the wounds that I was carrying at the depths of my soul. And it was just this uh, heartbreak, I guess you could say. A feeling of 
my worst fears confirmed that I am unlovable, that I am worthless in some way, that my life has no meaning to others. These really core kind of fears of the ego and the inner child. And so, for a while after that breakup, I did continue to shoot videos for several months until about March this year. And then I had an epiphany one day where I realized that to truly step into my own purpose and path, I had to be with myself, perhaps for the first time in my entire life. And by that I mean to stop doing spiritual practices, to stop doing manifestation practices, to stop building my life with an external focus, to put that aside, the sense of expanding to get somewhere, to put that aside and to truly, sincerely, out of absolute unconditional love for my inner child, listen to it and be with it. And so that meant sitting in this immense amount of pain, almost like a father loving his son. There's this sense of a higher self that I'm, that I'm allowing to shine through more and more. That higher self, in its wisdom and love, pausing to hug a scared, wounded, pained child. And so I did that, and I have been doing that day after day, sitting with that pain, feeling into it, giving it a voice, asking what it needs to heal, and receiving profound answers and healing. Of course, that healing elevates you spiritually. It opens up dimensions of life that you've always longed to experience. Dimensions of unconditional love and peace and joy and knowing and clarity. So that was a true blessing that came out of going into this pain. And it also caused me to really understand how to heal myself and also how to manifest things from different levels of consciousness. Because in going to the depths of my pain, at least the depths that I've experienced so far, I learned so much about healing and then I learned so much about the range and levels of consciousness and actually entering into these higher and higher states of consciousness and then seeing how to manifest things and how manifestation works in general from each of these levels, such that it's almost like going into a building and getting out on each level and seeing a view, seeing a vantage point, and seeing, oh, from this perspective, manifestation looks like this. These techniques are right from this level. That was very, very valuable. So I got a dimensionally rich understanding of healing, spirituality, and manifestation in this process. And I also learned some really cool things, and perhaps I'll share some of my experiences with you if you leave me a comment if, and if you're interested in this, such as undertaking a past life regression for therapeutic and spiritual growth purposes. That was quite life-changing. To meeting new kind of spiritual teachers and influences in my life and talking to these beautiful souls and realizing that those conversations were acting as permission slips for me to fully allow myself to step more and more into my truth, into my love, into my spiritual self, into my self-realization, which is still ongoing, but a very fulfilling, expansive point I'm very happy with. So that was really awesome. To learning techniques like breath work and using this in cool ways to communicate with my higher self, to sort of download very wise insights, practical steps and answers that I believe anyone doing these processes could then take those answers, take those downloads and implement them in their life with such a level of clarity and power behind the reasons why they're doing such things to then create and manifest amazing results in whatever sphere of life is relevant for that person. So I learned so much about that. 
And then I just started cleaning up my diet, uh, getting back into my health and fitness and looking after my body. And finally, not finally, but just powerfully allowing myself to let go of certain stories that I've been telling myself all my life through a place of healing and acceptance first, of course, but sort of just changing stories, sort of rewriting stories, revision techniques, using imagination, etc., quantum manifesting and all of that kind of stuff. And I'll cover more on that or more of that on my channel soon. So I learned be with yourself. I learned that to heal, to manifest, means to sincerely seek self-love. And that's such a personal, intimate experience and recognition. And it takes, well, it took me, <laughs> it takes a lot of us a long while to finally figure that out, that actually without self-love, the journey through life, even manifesting anything, uh, is not as truly fulfilling and wholesome as it could be with true self-love, that endeavor to find that, to give that to yourself. That's the ultimate prize, is that, that unconditional love that you can cultivate within yourself. To be with yourself, not so much outside of yourself focusing, but turn within and be with yourself. And listen to your inner child. Give it that voice. Acknowledge its pain. Embrace it. And it will stop crying and it will start laughing. And as it starts laughing, it starts feeling re-inspired and cared for and on your side again. And then you start to powerfully feeling this sense of openness and drive to create whatever you want in your life with all aspects of yourself now aligned. It's just beautiful. I also learned that each and all of us, every soul, every being is eternally okay. From the highest vantage point, highest levels of consciousness, the higher you get, the more you recognize that truth, that life can be fun, that you can heal, that you can manifest things, that you can enjoy this as a fun journey. And that ultimately, as we evolve through life, we are all headed for the same ultimate destination of love and peace, inevitably. And also I learned for me that service to others, to surrender my own fears, my own anxieties, my own attachments more and more, in a beautiful way of course, still with the inspiration to create the life of, I'm inspired to create, but for love, for service, to, to see a fellow soul change for the better, giving them the opportunity to manifest what they want and to heal themselves in profound ways. That's what it lights me up so much. And of course, I will do my best to live from that place of service and to keep healing myself because for me it's ongoing. It's an ongoing process as much as I'm also manifesting a reality in which that process become satisfyingly realized as well. That's kind of a paradox. So where I am at now is that I feel quite healed, uh, at peace, uh, more knowledge of healing, spirituality manifestation, and I plan on sharing those videos from that place and I will continue coaching sessions, I will continue regular videos, maybe even live Q&As, etc. And I'm excited for this new chapter. So <laughs> hopefully uh, that wasn't too uh, boring to listen to. It gives you an insight that none of us are perfect behind the scenes. Well, actually we are perfect <laughs> behind the scenes of the ego, but 
behind the scenes of the camera is what I mean is that we are all perfectly imperfect souls uh, evolving, healing, transcending, creating, loving and we're all doing our best, we're all where we need to be and all of us through our own permission can realize and enter into the reality of our dreams. These are things I know to be true. Alrighty guys, uh, that's my update. I'm looking forward to shooting a new video soon. Thank you again for your patience with me and your understanding. I really wish you well and I hope you and your family and friends and loved ones have all been staying safe and well during this interesting time of ours that we find ourselves in as a collective species, <laughs> collective consciousness. Uh, so much love and I will speak to you soon.